What's up, fellas? It's your boy, Eric Float. For me, I got some great news, as y'all can see from the title. For me, I will be moving out the homeless shelter, the men's shelter that I've been staying at for the past, probably been like five, six months. It's my second time being homeless. If you've been on my YouTube journey with me since the very beginning, and you really rock with me, I know, I know you feel like I know you feel that this is a moment right here. This is a this is a moment, bro. Like 2020, when I started my YouTube journey, I had just came out of a homeless shelter I stayed in for eight months, seven eight months. Went and lived in a um in a in like a private house in a room with like two other dudes having their own rooms. It was bad, you know. Definitely would never live in a room with another man, I mean, another house with other men ever again, because I could have, you know, that, that could have went real bad, bro. It could have went so bad, bro. Like you have no idea how bad that could have went. Imagine waking up in the morning, the first thing you see when you go in the bathroom is a man piss on the floor. Like, it's just, it was bad. Like you go in the shower and you see a man residue of his hairs from his body like whether they come from his head or his or his area like you don't want to see that like it was just you go in the kitchen you trying to do your thing it's other man's dishes around it's residue of another man being around doing stuff not really cleaning up after they self like it was you know you think about bringing a shorty over you know what i'm saying you don't you don't really want to step in your vibe and talk your talk and really be clapping it and and, and saying what you want to say you know, talking, you know what I'm saying? I'd have been clapping shorty in there and I'm quiet. I'm not really saying too much because I'm like, I'm not trying to make too much of a scene because I know they already can hear me clapping it and her yelling. I'm not trying to, you know, and it's just whack, bro. So many reasons why it's whack having a room. But you know, you got to do what you got to do. You got to start from somewhere. I just posted a short. If you didn't see my short, if you're watching this video, you have to go see my short. You know, I just posted right before this because you will then get to see all of the luxury apartments that I'm eligible for. Now, I went to go see my caseworker yesterday, right? I've been ducking her because I don't really care for like what they be asking me to come see them for because I be busy and they just be wanting me to sign some BS paperwork and just go about it. So I'm like, bro, what's not rushing me to come see y'all for? But apparently she been rushing to come see me because she trying to get me to leave. And I'm over here so focused on working and all that that I'm not even realizing that it's a whole opportunity waiting for me. I'm eligible for nothing but luxury apartments. None of them apartments are project buildings. I thought I was gonna end up having a move from where I'm at now into a project building, but I'm gonna move into a luxury apartment as a young king, 20, 25, 20, just turned 26. And I got a new chapter awaiting. Yeah! Let's get it! I'm proud, I'm proud of myself, you know what I'm saying? I know a lot of y'all proud of me. I'm, yo, bro, I'm so proud, bro. When I saw her just scrolling through those apartments, I couldn't even believe it, bro. I couldn't believe it. I'm still processing that. And she told me it's a quick process. Shorty, that's my case manager. For those that don't know what a case worker is and all that, when you come to a, a men's shelter, a shelter in general, whether a family shelter, a men's shelter, or a women's shelter, whatever, you get a case worker because your case is like your homeless situation like are you do you have government assistance um your health uh all of your health stuff um all the like what do you what do you do for work um your background like so you have a case worker that's in charge of just like you know being in tune with all of that that got to do with you as a person that is your case as somebody that's homeless so she told me she was like yeah she was like my girlfriend you know she girlfriend like talking about her home girl like that's how they speak about it in new york girls from new york my home girl you know my girlfriend she um she in a woman's shelter and for me she eligible for these same like you know type of apartments and it took her two months and she left i didn't know about stuff like this i didn't know what i was getting myself into even living in a homeless shelter i just got kicked out with nothing and just had to go figure it out you know what I'm saying? My mom only gave me a $20 Metro card and I had to overdraft my TD Bank $600 to have some money in my pocket and give me some gear to be prepared to be on my own. You know what I'm saying? And I'm glad that she pushed me out the door because it was a blessing in disguise because I have what I always wanted. I never wanted to live with her. 
because I knew that she was not right psychologically. Giving me a hard time, I'm trying to ask her to turn the heat up in the basement because it's freezing cold and it's winter time and my bed sheet over me is not enough. My comforter is not enough because I'm freezing and shivering and I turn up the heat and she barking on me because I can't afford to turn up the heat. Making me feel and belittling me as a man. Now I'm glad to say that I don't need her and I don't need nobody. You know, I'm trying not to sound too egotistical because I also have, I'm a leader and I want to, you know, present myself properly, but I got a lot of pain in my system and this is a moment for me, bro. That I actually did it, bro. It took me two times, My I'm homeless two times and I did it. I know I could inspire so many men, bro. I posted that short and I had some funny dude talking about, I was about to block him, but I wanted y'all to see that. He talking about, oh, because I told him, I was like, I told him, I told y'all in the short, I'm like, yo, they pretty much, she applying for these apart, like, I'm, let me go back, right? All of these luxury apartments, you're probably wondering, how am I eligible, eligible for them? What do you mean eligible? I can't afford it, obviously. Eligible meaning she's applying for me through the government assistance I get, through food stamps and a little bit of cash assistance. And I don't, I'm not applying through what I make working, doing Uber Eats, right? And I, before Uber Eats, I was already working off the books. So none of that paperwork is in there, allegedly. And um, for me, like, it's so it's so crazy to even talk about this right now. I can't believe I'm finally actually making this video. I've been wanting to make it, this video for so long that I'm gonna be actually living somewhere and be fine, you know? My rent is gonna be extremely cheap, right? I'm gonna be making YouTube videos and making money off YouTube because I finally think that I figured out how to fix my monetization. If you're watching the ad right now, if you saw an ad right now, you know what I'm saying? That's, I, I think I figured it out and fixed my channel up a little bit. Like a lot of things is starting to align and work in my favor. I feel like when Shorty came to visit me, you know what I'm saying? My girlfriend, we was manifesting, you know what I'm saying? We was working on some things, manifesting some things, even subconsciously, consciously, whatever. This is what we do, this is spiritual. It's what I've been doing, because I'm spiritual. I believe in manifestation. I don't believe in going to, you know, you know, be out here and, and and be somebody I'm not just to go get paid. You know what I'm saying? I believe in spirituality more than I believe in going to sell myself out just to get money because I'm a man and I have to have money in order to be a man and all of that, right? So now she applying for me, like my rent's gonna be extremely cheap because of that. And then boom, now I got a five year voucher that I'm eligible for, meaning that I don't even have to pay no rent for five years. Somebody in my comment section on my short that I post that I posted before this try to say, oh, that's not nothing to be proud of. That's government assistance. I'm like, yo, bro, first of all, you got to start from somewhere. So why are you here sitting here trying to tell me that that's not something to be proud of? He, he motivated me to make that video because that made me feel some type of way. And I had to get on here. And now I want to talk my talk and, and feel me because how could you say that to me, bro? Like, the, sometimes the comments that I get really just don't be making no sense. How could you say that to me, bro? Like, seriously, as a grown man, how could you try to take away from me being proud of myself from coming from a homeless shelter, sleeping on a twin-size bed with another grown man sleeping on another twin-size bed three feet away from me? He's 40 years old. He said he's been in a shelter for two years. I'm a 25-year-old youngin trying to figure everything out by myself because ain't nobody teach me how to be a man. I had to do this by myself, and I don't have the right to be proud even because it's government assistance should i had not mentioned that and put on a facade that i could afford it lie to you so that you don't gotta comment dumb stuff like that try to discredit me for trying to show people that you can start from somewhere and build up that's the whole purpose of this being a documentary is that you gotta start from somewhere you know what i'm saying now at least I got somewhere where my son could come visit me and see that his pops live somewhere that he that is, is his own crib. And he don't gotta worry about seeing me living in a homeless shelter. That's what it's really all about. It's not about bragging rights. I'm saying that because people saw me come from nothing and now you get to see me build up and not have to live in a homeless shelter now. Now I got a luxury apartment from nothing. From everybody doubting me and discrediting me and not believing in me and belittling me and I did it by myself. People on the internet trying to come at me for being homeless. Why are you listening to this dude? Because he homeless. What does he have to say? He relapsing, he homeless. He ain't got the motivation. And now look, I ain't no here to brag at all. I'm just on here to 
inspired young kings that I was just talking to somebody on the phone. I ain't gonna say his name, but he going through it living with his moms, and it's my friend. And I'm trying to tell him he want to move out of New York, and I'm trying to tell him you don't gotta leave New York. Go to a homeless shelter. They gonna help you. Like I feel like if you living at home with your moms, but you did not seek out all of the options that it takes for you to live on your own out here in your state, wherever you from, if you in New York, whatever. And you ain't try to go just be on your own. You can't say that. You can't say that it's tough out here. You can't say that I need to leave. Like you didn't even explore all of the options. Now I got a five year window to do my YouTube stuff, stack my bread up, not have to pay no rent, not have to live in a homeless. I get to have my own space. Yo, bro. I can't believe I'm making this video. This. This is a moment for me, bro. Like, this is a moment. I'm a survivor. I stayed down my whole life. You know what I'm saying? Everything I'd have been through in my life just for this moment, it's, it feels worth it. Everything I've been through in my life finally feel worth it. I didn't know it was gonna feel like this. Finally being able to leave. I get to have my own apartment. Shorty get to come visit me and come see me in my own. People would try to tease me that Shorty came through and paid for the Airbnb for me to enjoy my birthday. But yet, it's people out here that be mad that it's a bunch of BS women out here that don't want to ride with them. Y'all done seen, you know, y'all done seen me, you know, through the ups and downs of my relationship. You know what I'm saying? And she's still willing to come through and hold me down when I'm in lack of. And people, oh, why you living off your girl? Why you this and why you that? What is it about me that bother you so much? Is it because I get on here and live my truth? Is it because when I get on here, you gotta look at yourself because all I do when I get on here is look at myself? If you mess with me, it's because you see my purpose is to make you look within yourself. I'm not putting on no image. When you see me looking at me, it's inspiring you to look at yourself and people that don't wanna really look within themselves got a problem with me. That's the only problem you have with me. Is that you see me taking accountability no matter what. Talking the truth. Telling people I got government assistance. Telling people I'm in a homeless shelter. People still trying to discredit me. But wonder why we live in a world full of fake people. I'm proving it all. I'm proving why this world is so fake. Because all it takes for somebody to be real. And people trying to inspire me to be fake. Because all it took for me to do is not say too much. You know, sugar cold, finesse a little bit. You wouldn't be complaining to me about nothing. But you're not gonna take away from me the purpose that I have, the divine purpose that I have on here to inspire young kings. That was the point I was trying to make, that your mom giving you a hard time and you got the opportunity to go move into a homeless shelter, get out. Get out. Get out. It's not as bad as you think. They put a stigma on being homeless, right? Because people gonna look at you funny. You gonna feel funny. But don't you already feel funny living with your mom? Don't you already feel funny that she got you paying rent that you can't afford? Like homie I was just talking to? Why don't you go receive a, the assistance that you are looking for? You need help if you living with your mom. You need help. And you need to accept that you need help. And I accepted that I needed help. And I stayed down. And I got the help that I needed spiritually. I got the help that I needed financially. I got the support that I needed on YouTube. The most support that I ever received in my whole life to the point where I uh, love and appreciate all the support that I get so much that it inspires me to make better videos to help you be a better man. Give you the advice that you need. Any download that I ever get in my life now, the first thought that come to my mind is to tell you. That's how much I love you. I'm not no influencer. I'm not putting on no image. I wear this shirt a hundred times if I feel like I can make a hundred videos today. If I feel like I just whatever. I don't care about an image. My dreads is dirty. I ain't did my dreads in five months. But I'm on here inspiring the people. 
I ain't perfect. We just, I'm just out here growing. I'm not fake. That's what make me different. The only thing that make me different is that I'm not fake and you can feel me. Like you talking to somebody and when you see me, you can really show me love and dat me up. Like I'm not, you know, I don't want you to put me on no pedestal. I'm just like you watching. I'm just on here documenting my life. That's the only difference between me and you, right? That's the only difference between me and you. And I got messages that you may need. I separated myself from people that was holding me back from the hood, from people from the hood, seeing outside of it, wanting to help everybody that I can, understanding that I can't help everybody though, which is also hard for somebody like me because I got a big heart full of love. But that's a whole nother topic that we could talk about. I don't want to make this video too long. Pardon me. Right? I just wanted to share this, this message with y'all. That whenever I'm ready, she told me it's, it's, it's quick. I'm eligible for... That was just the first page. On that short that I showed you, that was just the first page of all of the apartments that I'm eligible for. All through New York City. Queens, Manhattan, Bronx, Brooklyn. You ain't seen no dirty project building I'm thankful and I'm thankful to even be in this position to be able to share this message with you this is what truly makes me feel like I can experience this moment is that I can share it with other people that may need this motivation that have seen me down and out for so long that it's finally reaping the benefits of staying down being real it is possible to be real and receive benefits from being real I hope you are inspired. I hope you can feel this passion for the message that I'm kicking to y'all. You know what I'm saying? Finally, I'm gonna be moving out the homeless shelter. And it feels surreal. I'm not gonna rush it. Y'all might not see me immediately leave, right? But I could leave whenever I choose to leave because it's quick. I just think I wanna stack up some more bread or whatever, but I don't even have to do that. It's just so surreal to me, bro, that I can just even, you know, you think that when you receive blessings that you could just automatically align with it. But it, it's also, you got to process that. That's why as men, we got to process everything. Take time to process things, you know, so we don't just jump and make certain decisions because we are put here as men to do. Like, don't just do because we are supposed to do as providers and protectors. Don't just do. Don't just react. Process. Because if you make the wrong call... You the one that's going to have to pay for that. Ain't nobody else going to have to pay for that. That's going to be on you. You know what I'm saying? Don't be afraid to go be on your own. Do what you got to do in this world. Because I believe in manifestation. And I can't believe that I... Let me show y'all something. This building right here. It's called 300 Ashley. I was talking to Shorty or even myself about how I feel like I would love to live in this apartment, this kind of apartment building. That's crazy, I just moved from there. That's crazy, I just moved from there and a the mouse come. I was just sitting there. Nah, nah, I was just sitting there knowing a the mouse just went by. That's crazy. I'm glad I moved. Word. Um, and now, look, look what it say, two, two, two. And now I'm about to actually move into a building that don't look too different from this. Maybe I could show y'all a little bit better. Right? I got to download because I pay attention to synchronicities, right? I worked, my first job as a security guard for the security company I worked for was in a building 300 in bed -Stuy, project building 300. So when I seen this building got the number 300 attached to it, I was just thinking hmm, and just put thoughts in my mind. You know, I would love to live in a building like this. I can live in a building like this. I felt like that was the universe trying to help me process that it's possible because that's just the way my mind thinks. Oh, 300. Oh, that's where I worked for like two years. Maybe the universe trying to tell me something. You know, keep your mind open. That's just how I think, right? I don't want to make this video too long. I just want to share this with y'all that, yeah, it's happening. And we can talk more about this soon. I don't want to go over more than like 20 minutes. Listen, man.
I got on here to inspire you. I ain't got on here. I'm not I'm not even talking my talk about you doubted me and all of the people talking mess about me. Nah. Because that don't matter. It's just about that I achieved my goal and I want to inspire people to stay down until you come up. Stay down until you come up achieving your goals. Because if I did it from nothing, you do it too. Keep growing and flowing. Salute.